know, by making the last video, I found out that there are a lot of things that I need to improve. Uh, not only my gaming skills, but uh, yes, of course, and also my own working flow and uh, my own script. And also I need to improve my uh, filming and editing equipments. Um, I'll fix those one by one each time, maybe um, a little by little each time. So eventually I will get there, right? Um, it's a good thing. Uh, and it's a good sign that I still have a lot of things to improve. That's good. Hey guys, this is Vivi here. Welcome to my channel. So it is a spa fest again, and I'm so happy and I'm so excited. So finally, I picked my team. Um, this time is not by checking out my friend list to see how um, which team is more popular, but only by the first sense from my own heart which team I want to choose. So I'm in team Leo, but actually after I picked the team Leo, I found red ink just looks much prettier than the blue ink but uh, well on minimap the blue ink looks a little better um, so well hopefully we can win this blood fast but even if we lose we still can get the shells so well just have fun so um, in today's episode I'm not going to show you um, the gameplays because there are a lot of players that is much better than me. I'm going to show you a very cool things that you can do only during the Splatfest. So I'm going to test out for you guys. Um, hopefully you can enjoy it. Um, without further ado, let's rock the square. So did you notice that I'm wearing my own outfit instead of the Splatfest t-shirt while I'm taking this photo? Yeah, we are wearing the same outfit. We look like sisters, right? So here is a trick that how I did it. So firstly, you will need to have an amiibo first so that you already enable the function of take a selfie photo. And then just grab your pro controller or your console. I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, I, I think I just want to show off <laughs> the special Splatoon color Joy-Con and pro controller. And then the only trick is do not pick a team before the Splatfest begins. So after the festival begins, uh, when you enter the game, because you haven't choose a team yet, so you will be wearing your own outfit by that time. Before you choose a team, you still have the chance to uh, change your outfit to uh, whatever you like. And then you just simply go to the Amiibo station to uh, take a photo. And that's it. So when you open the map, all those maps will turn into Splatfest theme map. That is so cool, right? But after you've chosen your team, you will not be able to change back to your own outfit because you will be forced to wear the Splatfest t-shirt and you will not be able to change your clothes during the Splatfest anymore. And also, I want to suggest that we spend some time checking out the surroundings in this game, especially during the Splatfest. Did you notice that one day before the Splatfest begins, they already put up the structures up? And also, did you notice in the back, there are also something going on in the back? If I'm not recording my gameplay video, I will never notice this. In the back near the Amiibo station, they have the whole big wall of the Splatfest joints. I feel it's just so warm that they do all of this. Uh, although these details does not have anything to the gameplay experience. I do highly recommend us to spend some time on the designs and the details of this game. Not only just in the battles. Look at these maps. Does it look very wonderful to you? Just looks so perfect. And also by some exploration in the square, I found out two entrance for the Octo expansion, the subway system. I'm not sure which one is the real entrance. So 
So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like me or my video. And please comment below if you have any recommendations or suggestions for me. Um, and thank you again for watching my episode. And I will see you next time soon. Bye bye.